Welcome to the Craft Cocktail. Today we're going to create the screwdriver. We're gonna do an ounce and a half of vodka, four and a half ounces of fresh orange juice, and then an orange slice garnish. We're gonna build it. We're just gonna build it in the glass. This is a basic, fundamental, simple cocktail that you can make at home. So on the Craft Cocktail, what you're gonna learn, this entire series is all about vodka. So if you're a huge vodka fan or you're getting into cocktails for the first time, the idea here is to kind of get the base, to get yourself understanding what's going on, and then grow. You ready to grow? Evolve your game. Yes. We're going to evolve it with fresh orange juice. Four ounces of fresh orange okay. juice. You're just going to build it over. I don't really care what order you put it in because we'll just stir it. It's pre-squeezed, uh, pre-strained uh, also. Yes. If you're making fresh orange juice pre-filtering it or pre just use yourself a tea strainer. It's a small strainer. You can get them at awesomedrinks.com and it will create, it'll get rid of some of that pulp, which some people really enjoy pulp. You can leave it if you want to. In a cock, I like it for fresh orange juice, but I don't necessarily like it when I'm ma making a cocktail. Now, presentation wise, you can see that it looks cool with the vodka on top, but I don't think it serves very well. Oh, you want to do a, a, a garnish? Absolutely. We got a uh, love the fresh garnish. orange wheel. We got car car oranges here. Car, yeah, and the car car oranges look a little weird because they're a little red. Yeah, they're almost like, like a blood orange. Yeah, it's almost inside, like a, yeah. it's like a hybrid or something. I don't, I don't know why. It looks really good. It has a nice contrast to the drink. Plus, you get a good amount of juice out of them compared to like a navel orange. Straw. Straw. Boom. Boom. And then, give it a little. You know what? I'm gonna stir it with the straw, just so. Uh, I don't. I'm not a big fan of getting a a big mouthful of vodka like right in front some people are but uh yeah but then you're done you're yeah. stuck down like a, a then you're just drinking orange juice for the rest of the glass so. yeah <laughs> i love fresh orange juice you can use a second straw if you want we need like a especially like gray straws so i'm not I'm, I have those. I'm not a huge screwdriver fan typically like growing right. up i was never a big screwdriver fan but when you put in some fresh juice in there it makes all the world a difference it's Yes, because it, it tastes, it doesn't, for some reason, the, the bottled orange juice combined with vodka gives it almost like a preservative taste, but I can't really point out. Well, there's a reason for that, and if you watch uh, Adam Ruins Everything, he does something yes. on Breakfast Foods that talks about how orange juice is created and preserved, yeah. and it's not really orange juice. And anymore. if you click the link above, you can watch me talk about how orange juice is artificial, which I think I got from Adam's Ruin, Adam Ruins Everything. Yeah. And then that's a common in cocktails. It'll be much so more good. to the point and cocktail focused. Yeah, that's mine's funny. mine's cocktail focused. His is funnier. His, well, his it's college humor. That's where he comes yeah, from. Yeah. So that's true. <laughs> so the screwdriver was founded in around 1938. It's an old cocktail. If you want to be able to taste some history, even though it's a basic cocktail, I highly suggest you do that. You can also head to homecocktailmenu.com, download the series one of the craft cocktail, which will go through the 15 recipes that you're going to see here first on the channel, taste them along with us, because it's gonna be good time. Good times, have my all. That's how we suggest you make the screwdriver.